Well, hey, how's it going? Here's another little quick video just to show you what's going on at the Mountain Man Gourmet household this evening. I've been working really hard today. Got up early in the morning, went and had an event all day. Sold a bunch of soups and dry rubs and spice blends and dip mixes and even a couple of hot chocolates. And so it was a pretty good day. Then I did a bunch of other stuff. You know those kind of errands you got to do. Uh, go to the bank, go to the post office, do this and that. Um, Alright, anyway. But I wanted to show you here this quick video because this is a top sirloin steak and I am cooking it with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of butter, and a whole bunch of my New Mexico coffee rub, Mountain Man Gourmet coffee rub. Gosh, if I had uh, if I had it close by, I'd put it away. Otherwise, I'd show it to you. But anyway, I guess I should do that if this is going to be a commercial video or something. So let's see what's going on here. You know what I'm going to do? This is not a commercial video, so I'm just going to set the phone down right there. And you're going to get something going on. I think you're going to get the countertop. All right. So, anyway, this is what a mountain man has for a midnight snack. Especially since the only thing I've had all day was uh, three fish tacos and a... Uh, I had something else earlier. can't remember what that was. Anyway, an apple. I think it was an apple. Anyway, it was a long day. I worked really hard. But, now, this is what I get to have. Some Mountain Man Gourmet Coffee Rub. Made with New Mexico Red Chili. Mmm, there. That's kind of in focus, I hope. Alright. So, this was one that didn't quite make the cut. Because it was only 74 grams left. And, uh... So I talked to Don, and he said, well, what should I do with this one? I said, well, we'll use that as a sample. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes samples accidentally end up in my own kitchen. So I've had this plenty of times, and uh, it was really good all the other times I had it, so I'm hoping it's good again here. So this steak is just about done. I'm actually going to turn it off now, and it's done about maybe four minutes on each side. Maybe four and a half, and because uh, I couldn't find the uh, coffee rub. Oh, did I say coffee rub? Yes, coffee rub. Mountain Man Gourmet coffee rub. Where can you find it? That's right, mountainmangourmet.com, or my Mountain Man Gourmet Facebook page, or you can go to Twitter and some other stuff, and you can find me. But if you want to buy it. Go to my website or go to my Facebook page, and that's where you're going to find it. It's really good. Trust me. All right, so that's what we're having. <laughs> that's all I'm having. I'm just having a big old piece of meat, and then I'm going to bed. All right. Might have a little glass of red wine or something with it, but that's about it. Just give me some meat, and I'll be happy. Tomorrow we eat vegetables. So come back tomorrow and... I'll show you some really cool stuff we can do with the leftovers, because I'm certainly not eating that whole thing by myself. Look at it. It's as big as the fan almost. Yes. I'm not going to eat that much. And you shouldn't eat it. One thing my doctor told me one time is, he said, make a fist, and then that's how much meat you should eat. So you're not getting quite a good perspective here, but there's probably about three servings for me here. Maybe two and a half. I don't know. It's, it doesn't look right the way you're looking at it. But that's what my doctor said anyway. And he was worried about some things. So he said, be careful. And so I do. And so should you. Enjoy your meat when you can. But uh, the rest of the time, eat some good plant-based diet. And have some nice vegetables. Have some smoothies. Have some fruit. All that kind of stuff. All right, so there it is. Can you hear the, the bubbles are starting to die down a little bit? This is when it's starting to die down, which means it's cooling off a little. 
which is fine because what I'm going to do now is just throw it in the oven for about, I don't know, four or five minutes, let it rest, and uh, give me time to go grab myself a plate and throw that in the oven as well so it'll get nice and warm and we'll be having this really nice steak. I might even make a gravy or something, I don't know. I may be too lazy tonight. A lot of times I'll take the, the drippings, of course, you know, and you mix them with uh, maybe a roux. You get a little butter and flour together, cook it in a separate pan, then pour it in here. Some people just <laughs> melt the butter. I've got plenty of butter in here already. I could just sprinkle a little bit of flour in there and whisk it up, and I'm sure it would be fine. Um, but if you're freaked out about lumps and stuff, just cook it in a different pan for a couple minutes and, uh, before you add it to this. All right, well, there you go. There's a, there's a big steak with coffee rub. So people ask me, what do I do with coffee rub? Well, you eat it on a steak, some kind of meat. All right, I've had it on lamb so far. Rack of lamb. I've had it on some New York strips. Now I'm having it on a sirloin. And uh, if you make something with my Mountain Man Gourmet Coffee Rub, send us a uh, message. Send us a message on Facebook or on this YouTube video and uh, share a picture. Send me a private message. Share a picture. And I'll post it on our uh, Facebook page and all that stuff. I love to see what you guys do with my food and my flavors. All right, so it's now out in the world. This thing is just about stopped bubbling here. I'm going to throw it in the oven. Just let it sit there for, like I said, four or five minutes, and we'll have a perfect, beautiful, yummy, yummy steak with Mountain Man Gourmet Coffee Rub. Coffee Rub by Mountain Man Gourmet, made with New Mexico red chili. Yum, yum. All right, enough of the commercial crap. Here we go. All right. I'll see you soon. Thanks for stopping by. And until we meet again, be sure to live well, eat well, and be happy. Bye-bye now.